Well, hello there, folks. Welcome back to Sample Sunday. Uh, Duff Mill, uh, generously gifted to me by Stuart at Whiskey Whims. If you've not subscribed to Stuart's channel, pop over and have a look. I'll pop a link to his channel above. Uh, really, really thankful for Stuart to send this. Very generous of him. Uh, I know it's Daft Mill, Daft Whiskey, Daft Prices. I'm going to get on with it. I hope. I don't know if you can hear the fireworks in the background, but I think there's some sort of firework display going off just as I start to do the video. But I'm going to nose it, taste it, and get out of here, guys. I'm not going to go into any detail on the, the distillery, the farm, Francis, anything about that. I'm sure there's enough on Wiki that you can pick that up. I'm going to make this a quick, short video. Just want to share this whiskey with you. Let's see how we go. I'm going to nose it. Let's nose this one. It's been looked after tonight by my trusty whiskey friend, Batch 2 Coin, number 22 on this one. Yes, you can still get them. Yes, I'll drop a link into the description. You can catch up with me there if you want to get a hold of some coins, guys. So, on the nose of this Daft Mill. See, it's 46% ABV. It's a Lowland whiskey. I've not got much experience with Lowland whiskey, so this will be something new. Relatively new. First ever Daft Mill. This is the summer batch, 2008. Wow, it's malty. It's really, really sweet on the nose. It's a really nice, lots of vanilla, lots of honey. In fact, there's bags of honey. It's got that beautiful cereal note. Wow, spicy. It's got some spices in there, maybe some nutmeg. It's a bit grassy. It's got a real nice grassy. That kind of cut grass smell. Wow. It's caramel. It's, it's quite sweet on the nose. It's a really nice. It's got that beautiful kind of... You can probably tell this comes from a farm because it's got that really, really nice outdoor kind of nose to it. Kind of that fresh air. It's really, really fresh. It's sweet. It's grassy. It's quite floral. Wow. Lovely cereal. And there's a little bit of fruit in there somewhere. Can't quite distinguish what kind of fruit it is. It may be apples. Maybe pear. But yeah, there's a little bit of fruit in there. Wow, really, really nice. Really nice, delicate nose. Lovely. Beautiful colour in there. That kind of... It's kind of light gold. Really, really nice. Got lovely some lovely legs on there. I don't know if you can pick the legs up, but... Let's taste it. Cheers. Okay, wow, that's nice. There's a lot of hype about this whiskey, guys. Daft Mill, limited edition. I think it only comes out kind of twice a year on that first sip. It's really oily, really buttery. It's mouth coating. Beautiful arrival. That 46%, a little bit of spicy on the arrival, but it's really malty, some real malty character. Big, big honey note on the palate as well. Caramel. And that fruit now is going a little bit tropical, but it is spicy. The cereal's there, the grass is there. It's, it's, wow, it's like some dried hay, it's some cut grass. A little bit biscuity now. That kind of cereal note, it's got a little bit biscuity. It's a little bit fruity. So let's do a little bit for the finish. Okay, so on that finish, folks, it's it's a little bit more fruity. Maybe some berries, maybe some raspberries. Maybe some blackberries, raspberries, maybe dark grape, black grape. But it's spicy. A little bit salty, a little touch of salt on the finish. But that there's a really lovely, lovely honey note in there. The honey is throughout this. It's on the nose, it's through the palate, and it's right into the finish. A little bit of dark chocolate. Wow, and there's that little bit of touch of tropical in the, on the finish as well. It's quite, it's quite spicy, maybe a wee bit more nutmeg, maybe some cinnamon. Might even be a touch of ginger. In fact, it's a bit of all spice. But yeah, all in all, this is a real, real nice whiskey, guys. I don't know how often it is you can get a chance to try Daft Mill. I am love trying it. It's probably about 95 to £100 pounds a bottle if you can get it at... At retail but most of these tend to go on to secondary markets 
It's just a real shame, but it is a beautiful whiskey. Would I pay £95 for it? I think it's a lot in 95 Certainly wouldn't buy it on secondary. Just too much, but again, wonderful, wonderful whiskey. Big thanks again to Stuart at Whiskey Whims. Don't forget to go back and subscribe, subscribe to his channel, folks. But big thanks again, Stuart. Cheers. Until the next time, guys. Until Sample Saturday, we'll see you all soon. And remember one thing, the pleasure is in the sharing. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.